Welcome to our driving school. Before you hit the bustling streets of Barcelona to ferry people around, we gotta teach you how to drive first. So let's get started. You have the option to skip this and head straight to the city by selecting the appropriate option from the pause menu. But hey, just a heads up, learning the rules now could come in handy later on down the road. Your call. This is the cabin of your car. You can look around and use the buttons that are highlighted. You can open, close windows and use the radio or AC. In the future, you'll be able to interact with the cabin to your heart's content. Right now, turn on the engine by pressing and holding the start button. Very good. The engine is turned on and you see that the dashboard panel is now working. There is lots of interesting information. For example, your speed and fuel level. Red and orange icons inform you that something wrong is happening with your car. However, your car is new and ready to go, so for now, you won't have to worry about that. Release the handbrake by pressing the handbrake button. Very good! Now you can drive. Increase the speed by pressing the acceleration button and drive to the marker in front of you. You can brake by pressing the brake button and turn the wheels with the turning buttons. Great job! Just keep in mind that the game will require you to make numerous precise maneuvers. Your level of control over the car will depend on the type of control device you're using. The control system has been designed to enable you to navigate through narrow streets. Look at how much you can turn the steering wheel. It's worth noting that the steering wheel and the car's wheels turn slowly at the start and then pick up speed as they approach their left or right limit. If you're ready, Park the car in the marked space in front of you. Of course, you can change the view by pressing the view button. Excellent work. You've got the hang of controlling the car. Just a friendly reminder, when driving in the city, it's important to use your turn signals to let other drivers know your intentions. Test it. Press the blinker buttons. Great! Let's get back to the cabin view. Press the view button. Impressive! You can also use quick look features to make sure that a maneuver you want to make is excellent. You can also look back and lean forward. Additionally, in the cabin, you can use some buttons. But all functions available here are also available directly from your steering device or from the radial menu. Press the radial button to open the radial menu. Now you can navigate through it with the tab change buttons. To choose each option, press the action button. To exit the radial menu, press the exit button. Remember that time is slowed down when the radial menu is turned on. Awesome. Uh, don't forget to keep an eye on the fuel level and remember that the car is susceptible to damage. If any of the five icons that are linked to the car's endurance start to light up, y'all need to repair the car. These parameters are also shown on the HUD as bars. However, there is also one more bar. One parameter, cleanliness. It has an influence on the passenger's behavior and tips. Okay, you know the basics. Now you can try the car. If you feel ready for the exam, please park in the marked space. Drive along the curved line and park in the marked space. Drive slowly and control your position. Try to be in the middle of the line. Don't cross it.
Very good. Park in the marked space to start the next stage. Let's practice parallel parking. You need to stop the car in the designated point. Here are the steps. Turn the wheels to the maximum left position and move forward slowly. Once you reach the marked space, turn the wheels to the maximum right position and move forward slowly. If you need to make any adjustments, slowly move the car backward and reposition the car to the left or right as needed. Left position and move forward slowly. Once you reach the marked space, turn the wheels to the maximum right position and move forward slowly. If you need to make any adjustments, slowly move the car backward and reposition the car to the left or right as needed. Very good. Park in the marked space to start the next stage. Let's practice perpendicular reverse parking. You need to stop the car in the designated point. Here are the steps. Turn the wheels to the maximum left position and move backwards slowly. Once the car is nearly in a parallel position to the marked space, straighten the wheels and continue moving the car backward. Ensure that you remain within the marked space. If you need to make any adjustments, slowly drive forward and reposition the car to the left or the right as needed. Very nice. Park in the marked space to start the next stage. Let's practice. Follow these steps. Turn the wheels to the maximum left position and move forward slowly. Remember to stop before the car leaves the marked space. Turn the wheels to the maximum right position and move backward slowly. Again, stop the car before it leaves the marked space. Once more, turn the wheels to the left and move forward slowly. Adjust the position of the car to drive straight and exit the marked space. Finally, park the car within the next marked space. Very good, you passed the first part of the exam. You are ready to take a test drive through Barcelona. Before you hit the city streets, it's important to remember that you must abide by all traffic rules and regulations. By driving in a calm manner using... Please remember that the standard speed... Good luck! ...part of your exam. You'll need to drive your own car in a real city to complete the test. Good luck! To successfully pass this exam, you must open the map by pressing the map button. This is where you can find available jobs. Using the steering buttons, great job! In the pop-up window which appeared, you can see the job details, including the amount of money you'll receive and the XP reward. Read it and press the accept button. Excellent! You've taken your first job! Keep an eye on the orange bar located above the pop-up information window. This is the patience bar, and it will gradually decrease over time. 
The speed at which it decreases will depend on your passenger's temperament and, most importantly, your driving style. Avoid breaking traffic rules, as this may scare the client. Remember, the client won't wait forever, and note that the final destination will not be immediately available. It will only be revealed once the client is in the car. Okay, now you must drive to pick up the client. Follow the GPS route you can see on the mini map to the marked point and park in the marked space. Hey, now you know where to go. Drive to the destination point and remember to control the patient's bar. Occasionally, a client may initiate a conversation and depending on the circumstances, you may choose to engage or disregard them. Keep in mind that participating in the conversation could potentially boost your tips, XP points, and even improve your current patient's level. Goodbye. Very good. You have completed your first job and passed the exam. Congratulations. As you can see, you've earned your first money and XP points. The money can be used to refuel and clean your car or even buy a new one. You can use XP points to develop your character. Now let's spend some money. See the gas station? Go there and refuel the car.
Hi.
Goodbye.